Hey, in just a few days, you have a chance to get your hands on some history from the prominent racing family that made the Indianapolis Motor Speedway the racing capital of the world. All you need to do is make a quick drive on I-70, bring some cash or a charge card, and be on the lookout for treasure from the vast estate of Mary Holman George, the daughter of longtime track owner Tony Holman. After 10 semi-truck loads of items were delivered, we got a sneak peek at what's up for grabs. In this large warehouse in Terre Haute, the race is on to get ready for the Mary Holman Georgia State Auction, and things could go fast. We are dealing with a multi-generational family auction. That's right, the Holmans, who have had and still have legendary ties to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So if you love spending time at the track and you love Indy's racing culture, you're sure to find a gem or two or hundreds to take home with you. There's things from the Holman family that have been stored by the Holman family for over a hundred years that are in this auction all the way up through Mary Holman George's estate. Things like this checkered flag carried on board the space shuttle Atlantis and signed by the crew of astronauts. Or how about this frame snapshot of A.J. Foyt next to his race car? Well, that's not the only vintage picture with the fast cars at the track. You can get your hands on the early drafts of race history laid out in this stack of thick books. There's all kinds of furniture, there's art, there's collectibles, there's china, glassware. Bill Metzger is the personal representative for the Mary Holman Georgia State, and he says two years worth of hard work went into getting ready for this grand scale auction event. Taking inventory of all the items and cataloging them was no easy feat. Even these WRTV tumblers, a gift from our station to Tony Holman in 1973, made the list. Mary died in November of 2018, and many items for sale convey what was so important to her. Mary was a lover of animals, so there's a lot of things here that have a, a horse motif to them, a dog motif, um, so things that just expressed her interest in animals and the Southwest as well. You'll find sculptures of greyhound dogs and racing horses and even a horse kissing a dog. The family ties to its food and baking empire is on full display too. Its iconic brand, Clabber Girl, and the signs depicting her will be hard to ignore. A chance to learn a rich family history that helped grow Indianapolis's racing culture. I've seen things here that I've never seen before. Um, and I've been doing this 30 years. Um, and this is a really rare opportunity to buy uh, a piece of Indiana history. I mean, if you're an Indy 500 collector, you cannot miss this auction. So let's get you the details here. The auction is set for Friday and Saturday, June 11th and 12th at the Vigo County Fairgrounds in Terre Haute. Doors open at 8 a.m. to preview the items. The auction begins at 10 a.m. and is scheduled to run until 5. If they can't get through it all in two days, it will go into a third day on Sunday. They're calling this an old school auction with only in-person bidding. There will be no internet bidding available.